Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm gonna do a uh, classic rock reaction, man. This is um, album reaction, and uh, with album reactions, what I do is I break the uh, albums up into parts, so or sides rather. So side one is one video, side two is a second video, and then um, the review will be the third video. So hopefully, it'll all make it onto YouTube, man. So today we're featuring. Um, uh, an album by Jethro Tull called Benefit, Jethro Tull's third studio album, I believe it is, and uh, really looking forward to it, man. Jethro Tull has been a band that has threatened Artist of the Month a uh, number of times, it just didn't make it there, you know? So uh, definitely uh, looking forward to exploring it in this fashion. So um, this is a link provided to us by Ford Prefect. And um, we'll do side one. I'll bounce to work, and I think that I should actually uh, have enough time to pop back and hopefully um, get it all in by today. But if not, then it'll be first thing in the morning. That's how I roll, man. So let's get this pop in, man. Jethro Toll. Benefit, side one. Let's get it.
go And with you there to help me Then it probably will Going back to the ones that I know With whom I can be what I want to be Just one week for the feeling to go Never-ending outro. <laughs> Great musician. Every day there's someone asking What is there to do? Should I love or should I fight? Is it all the same to you? No, I say I have the answer proven to be true. But if I were to share it with you, you would stand to gain and I'd lose. Oh, 
Each other. 
that song warrants a few more listens to get the full gist of it. Fight to fasten with their eyes 
Like the man hung from the trapeze Whose fall will satisfy And congratulate each other On their rare and wondrous deed That their big rugged money bought To sow the monkey seed And the yellow soft mountains grow very still Witness as intrusion the human heart Includes side one of Jethro Tull's benefit. I really dig their signature sound. It's a combination of Ian's um, vocals and the musicianship. You know, it's a great relationship that they've got creating their signature sound. It's got a lot of charm to it. It's got a lot of allure. It's uh, uh, got a flavor of seduction about it, you know. He starts to blow that flute, and it just gives you this enchanted feeling when you're listening to Jethro Tull. And in addition to that, listening to these five tracks and the first side, uh, here's an element of Jethro Tull I haven't thought of uh, before, or maybe I have, but I kind of, it slipped my mind. Good storytelling. Um, the only thing that I'm saying or seeing here is that it's just uh, an account of different stories. It's too bad they didn't go the concept album album route where they're telling a story about the same person, you know, one sole protagonist, and they string it all together in the body of one person telling the story of one person. That's the only thing about this uh, first side that um, I find is just slightly a little bit off for, for me. It's a, a, it's a stories being told, but of different people. If it was just about one person and following a progression of that person's growth or trials or whatever it is, uh, definitely it would have got a five out of five. So far the album's a four out of five for me. Um, and I need to, well, the first side is a four out of five. I need to go back and I need to, um, re-listen to these tracks and get the full meaning of the story being told. He's obviously telling us something, but I'm not getting the full meaning of it all because it's like five different stories and um, I just wish it was one continuous story. That's my only bag about it. But otherwise, hey, Jethro Tull, great signature sound, excellent vocals from a great singer, crisp, clear, wonderful to listen to him and uh, their musicianship is just on point, man. Uh, the bass grooves that Jethro Tull possesses is just fantastic. And then you add the flute on top of that, it's just, uh, it's like an otherworldly kind of feel when you listen to them. I really dig Jethro Tull, man. I can't believe they didn't make Artist of the Month. But here, you know, I shouldn't talk because I uh, can't believe that it took 12 months for the Allman Brothers to make Artist of the Month. The Rolling Stones never became Artist of the Month. You know, it took almost a year and a half for the Who to become Artist of the Month. So you just don't know, right? But yeah, man, these guys are fantastic. And uh, I believe that they are now in the Hall of Fame. Um, 
criminal that they weren't before. And you got all these poppy ass bands that made it into the Hall of Fame before the great Jethro Tull. What the hell is that? Anyway, hey, uh, really dig this so far. Looking forward to side two. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna, uh, turn this off. This is the end of side one. Pop off to work. Hopefully make it back in time uh, if it's not too late and then take care of side two in the review. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck there. See you in side two. Peace.